Ask credit by Saw Matador. What was the best you have no power here moment you have ever seen? I used to work for a super cunty manager when I worked at McDonald's. This guy was horrible to us. He was constantly bullying us, shit talking us to customers, and doing everything in his power to make us miserable. Well, so many people complained about him that he ended up getting fired. New manager was great. He was super chill and understanding with us all. A couple weeks after he took over, the old doucher bag comes in and starts talking about how terrible the store looks, how our service is shittier than ever, and how much this store needs him. The new manager looked at him and said if you don't leave, then the cops are gonna make you. When the doucher bag didn't move, new awesome manager stuck to his guns and called the cops. The doucher bag is no longer allowed on any McDonald's property in the city and has a restraining order against him. You know he's a doucher bag because he came back to where he got fired from. The first time I had dinner at my parents house after I got my own apartment. My dad was giving me grief as usual. Finally, I stood up and said, I don't live here anymore. I don't have to put up with you this way any longer. I'm going home. And walked out. Most liberating moment of my life. It's funny, I have an 18 year old, and just tonight I was saying to him to remember that he has the right to walk away when he's being mistreated whether it is by us, a boss or whomever. It took me way, way too long into adulthood to realize it on my own. Kudos to you for figuring it out early. I've also stressed with him growing up that he should always commit part of his money to savings, to what I call the fuck you fund. I see it as giving someone the freedom and resources to say fuck you and leave situations as needed. I told my ex I was getting remarried. He told me he was going to stop me and put a line on my house which I bought with my money 6 years after the divorce. My son would come home from visitations telling me how his dad was going to stop the wedding and I'd have to pay him all of this money, la dee da. Get to court. His attorney goes blah 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 for what felt like forever. My lawyer, yes, I had to freaking get one, stands up and simply hands the judge the divorce papers showing the disbursement of funds and how my ex isn't owed anything. Judge looks at X's lawyer and basically asks, did you even ask for this document before filing and dismisses the case. X and I were moving out after a breakup cleaning out garage she was being critical of my post breakup plan of moving in with a co-worker until I could find a better place to live, as most options weren't great. I took a deep breath and laughed this puzzled her why are you laughing. She asked I collected myself and said because this is the last time I have to listen to this you don't get to be critical of anything I ever do, ever again. It was a really great feeling, because I literally thought of the you have no power here as I laughed. Not me, but a story my dad used to tell me all the time. So my biological grandmother was very emotionally abusive. She was very controlling and tried to keep people within her sphere of influence. There's a reason why my grandfather divorced her. In high school my dad had a job washing airplanes at an airport in our area, which he absolutely loved, he's a huge fan of aircraft in general. He had classes until roughly 10am and then he'd be off to work until around 10pm, it was what he loved, he didn't mind long hours being around aircraft all day. But one day he came home a little too late for his mom's liking. She said she'd take his keys to his motorcycle and that he'd lost privileges to it. The fact of the matter is that he bought the motorcycle himself and he needed it to get to school as well as work. He laughed in her face and she didn't do anything. She couldn't do anything. I'm a high school teacher who teaches a lot of senior grades and so has to deal with graduation grades. References for university, all that jazz. I had a parent of a graduating kid in my classroom in June, after final marks were given to students but not formally reported, who was a dental surgeon in town, ran a large operation, donated a lot to local sports, big man in a small town. I had given his kid a mark in the high B range, and so he marched into my office and started off with the there must be some mistake line, 
which moved swiftly into the you're going to change it because I tell you to to how much will it cost to get him the A. When I refused the bribe he went to you fired 1-1. Not I'm going to get you fired but you fired, clean out your desk. I just asked him to leave. Ended badly, he threatened violence, I reported him to the school admin, he's now banned from the property. MRI pay your salary so you work for me you lousy piece of s it was threatened with the cops by Mr. and Mac PG. Woman complained we wouldn't fill her clearly fraudulent C2 prescription. Brought the brand new store manager back to the pharmacy to make us fill it. She says you have to fill it. God himself cannot make us fill anything if it fails the checks. No. I grew up with my parents having screaming arguments over every little thing. They do love each other over 50 years of marriage so far testifies to that, and it always upset me. A couple of days ago, they popped into my house to visit for a coffee on their way to stay with friends a few miles away. Within minutes, they were yelling at each other. I took great pleasure in telling them that I would not stand for such behavior in my house and, if they didn't lower their voices, they could stand outside until they learned some manners. The meek apologies tasted so sweet. As did the coffee. Some secretary of some branch of a state agency would go on a power trip and stamp, do not copy on things that she sent to local agencies. Well, I work for an oversight agency and I needed a copy. Locals were terrified so I rolled my eyes and called to explain that the locals and I were basically the same entity. Woman started to have a conniption fit, but she got real quiet when I cut her off and said, Fine, I'll issue a subpoena. What's your name and job title she answered, and the sheriff served her a subpoena for what I wanted. Guess she wasn't used to that. My boss calling me at 7am on a Saturday to ask if I could lay some flooring for a friend of his at nearly half my normal rate, yeah, hard pass and e. It services for a client of mine. They paid for me to come to their office and address a problem 8 hours minimum time. The issue was resolved in about 45 minutes, they'd set up something incorrectly and it was pretty obvious once I got into the system. I was packing up to leave and the client stopped me. What are you doing? The system is fixed so I'm headed out back to my office. No, I paid for 8 hours, you'll do your 8 hours. If I tell you to wash my car for 8 hours that's what you'll be doing. Right, so anyway, I'm leaving. I'll notify the office to send you the invoice and in all likelihood we'll no longer be working with you and withdrawing your lease on our equipment. A client once paid for me to fly to New York and spend two nights in an ice Manhattan hotel to add a semicolon to a config file. I worked in management at a theater for a while. If the concession counter was slammed and I was able, I'd leave my post and help them sling popcorn. One night while helping out, a particularly belligerent man started cussing out a 16 year old girl on a cash register for being too slow, even suggesting she quit since she clearly couldn't handle pushing buttons or scooping popcorn. It was pretty disgusting and I felt so bad for the girl, I stepped in and told the guy that our employees have the right to refuse service to customers who harass them as part of our anti-harassment discrimination policy, empathize that the lines were longer than usual and suggested he should apologize and move on. He was pissed. Left half his order on the counter and started fuming off. Anticipating his next move, I went back to my original post that night as manager of the customer service kiosk. Oh boy, the look on his face when he saw me, didn't want a refund of his tickets though so I assume he watched the movie, without popcorn. Good on you. I hate those abusive fucks. Always finding some young, sweet person to abuse. Deleted. I wasn't good at returning library books when I was a kid. I got lectured by my school librarian about it a lot. Fast forward 20 years and I'm a supervisor at the local public library and my former now retired school librarian goes there. One day I see her sneaking around the front desk instead of coming back to say hi to me and I immediately figure something's up. 
I go up to say hi and she acts exasperated and tells me she was trying to avoid me because she had overdue books. So I put on my reading glasses, pulled them down over my nose, and delivered the same lecture she'd given me countless times about being responsible and turning in books on time. Your training is now complete. I was bartending one night and these three guys were absolutely hammered so I cut them off. One of the guys proceeded to try to argue with me saying he has all this money and he tells me when he's done drinking and he's not even drunk. At this point, I'm done trying to be polite and point blank tell him I'm done arguing with him, will not be serving him and his buddies, and he can leave. He looks at me and says now excuse me, who are you to tell me how much I can and cannot drink, I look him dead in the eye and say the fucking bartender, now it's time for you to go. The look on his face was priceless. Never forget the golden rule, don't piss off your bartender. I once had a boss try to give me a disciplinary, three months later I may add, for my behavior as it was noted I was rude to her by several of the group's seers in a board meeting. On the disciplinary forms, you both have to write your version of the event and it goes to HR for an adjudication. She did her part and I casually filled in something to the effect of manager continually pressured me into deleting files from our client management system prior to a regulatory audit which is against the ethical code of our profession and not aligned with my moral standards. I accept I was short with her but she was trying to force me into performing an illegal activity. I watched her collect up the paper and the color drained from her face. I never did hear from HR. She got fired not long after when I casually mentioned to the CEO in a bar if she remembered the encounter and explained why I may have appeared a little frustrated and upset. By Felicia. When an unhappy client threatens to go hire a better lawyer. They don't seem to get that this isn't a threat when they aren't paying me. In my professional experience, it is exceedingly rare to be fired by a client you don't want to fire you. I worked at a grocery store for 5 years putting up with crazy customers and their awful attitudes. At the end of my tenure our store was set to be closed, and for the last month the store was sold to liquidation company. Meaning we were no longer under our parent company's umbrella and were no longer concerned with retaining customer loyalty. I got to tell customers no and respond with every bit of sarcasm and disdain to every Karen I encountered for one month until the store officially closed. Jeez, did you just skip to work every day for that last month? I would love to just hang out in the store and witness the deserved sass. Customer service is rough. Obligatory not mine but this, video, https colon slash slash, yahtoo dot b slash x a r m eight k v s one m zero close bracket belongs in this thread this is the best you don't have power here move i have ever seen lol she was working for government has problem sitting with baby on plane tried to eat the job of their hostess then you know reverse card lol funny the 180 she flips on the flight attendants i want this woman off my plane i'm sorry I'm just really stressed out some people super suck. I worked at a movie theater and some customers were adamant that a staff member had stolen their wallet after they dropped it. Turns out that these people just couldn't see and found the wallet once they actually looked for it. They got irate with literally everyone, from the mall security to the managers to the staff. Mall security finally said get the fuck out and the customers went you can't say that. This isn't your theater, we're customers. Mall security guy promptly said this is my mall, and I can do whatever the fuck I want. I love that security guard and I hope he gets nothing but the best in life, as he deserves. Absolute king shit. My parents came to visit and my mother. Who is very old fashioned the woman should be a homemaker and if not she shouldn't out earn the mankind of old fashioned told my wife who makes tax as a dev team manager compared to my peanuts as a sports writer you know dear you really should try to keep a cleaner house and without looking up from her making lunch my wife said yeah your son forgot to clean this week before you guys flew and the stunned look on my mom's face was priceless 
new CEO came to our department on the first day of his work. He didn't have a pass card yet and a lower level employee told him that he can't enter without pass card. CEO got upset and ordered a worker to let him in, but the worker insisted, show me the pass card, or you're not entering. And X200B. Few days later this worker got a bonus. Did said CEO grant the bonus? Sorry if that's a stupid question. Deleted. There is something so cute and sweet about your younger brothers visiting you to help with chores and catch up. I miss my siblings. When my manager at McDonald's gets into bitch fights with all the aggressive toxic customers and booting them out the store by calling them all security if they refuse to leave. Actually sounds like a good manager. My wife and I moved to WA state and my mill tried to tell me that she was going to call the police because I had pot in the house. I taught my 6th grade students about democratic processes, and we ran a simulation. Without fail, every one of my classes tried to impeach me. Should have played monarchy instead. As long as you don't have a guillotine in your class. Some White House lady sat at my bar and tried to get a drink without ID. She pulled out her White House ID card which had no dob. I work at the White House. I told her that her bosses would be very proud of me enforcing their laws when I didn't serve her a drink. The federal government is such an enormous employer, especially in the DMV area, where I'm guessing this was. I don't understand why people think working for them gets you special treatment. When my shitty father kicked me out of the house and then demanded he have access to my bank to control my financial situation and I got to tell him you have no control over me anymore. You set me free when you kicked me out and now you can't do shit. Why would even a psycho like that be dumb enough to think you'd let him do that? Deleted. Deleted. New director. Decides admin should hold a beating at noon mf in the nurses lunchroom and bar them from entering during that time. Defines it in a group text as a quick win. My response, please help me to understand how this is beneficial to remove the nurses. From their lunchroom during lunch break no response, his peers and higher ups in on the text. He is then moved to the quality department. Screwed up in so many levels. At my last job they decided to hold the quarterly meetings in the break room. So every quarter the break room was off limits the whole week. They also decided to hire a catering company for their meetings. The catering company would install themselves on the kitchen. So we didn't have access to neither the break room or the kitchen. Fuck those guys. Sort of a you have no power here moment, but funny nonetheless. My dad and I went to Lowe's one time, and the guy helping us had on a veteran hat and a few pins kept trying to insinuate we didn't know what we were talking about, and that we didn't need what we were there for, and kept trying to argue about everything so my dad asked what service he was in trying to break ice, and the dude said he was in team 6, 1970, 1974 in Vietnam, and trained in Great Lakes which was the wrong answer. So my dad asked if he meant SEAL Team 1 or to the man recognizing my dad's service ring immediately buffed up on my dad and got tomato face red and tried to assert dominance as a superior. So my dad immediately called the guy on his shit for stolen valor explained why he was full of shit and threatened to turn him in for it and get his management involved. I haven't seen that guy in town in a while. Nice one. I'm guessing there was no SEAL Team 6 in the 70s? I worked at a Walmart as a cashier, and the assistant manager there was a dick. He would insult everybody working there and forced us sometimes to do work above our pay grade. Six months later me and him got transferred to another Walmart that was just built and they needed to pick a manager and assistant manager. Some random got manager but I got assistant manager. I guess all the complaints on the assistant manager basically gave him a demotion. So one day he was ordering the other cashiers around then I pulled him to the side and told him that if he kept pulling the same shit around he would be out of here. I haven't heard anything from him since. That surely must have been one of those moments where you like, I'm so going to enjoy this. So my uncle is a deputy sheriff, 
and one time he was at an airport talking to my aunt over the phone in Spanish. Once he got done with his call some nearby Karen that overheard him went up to him and started demanding to see his green card. Uncle has an accent too so you can tell he wasn't born in the US. Uncle decides to fuck with her and tells her he doesn't know what a green card is and has never heard of one. She gets more pissed and keeps demanding to see it. He messes with her some more then eventually he goes well I don't got a green card but I got this then takes out his wallet and shows her his badge. She immediately walked away while my uncle laughed his ass off. Why do these people think they have any kind of authority to get someone to show their ID? It blows my mind. A co-worker friend of mine was flying back from a sales conference in Vegas and he was able to upgrade to a first class seat. We had this bitch sales VP that was on the same flight she was the snobby, entitled type with a full time nanny and giant McMansion in the suburbs, and she generally treated people who worked for her like servants. She sees him in a first class seat as she is making her way to coach and asks him how he got that seat, he used points to upgrade. As people are getting settled in, she makes her way back up to the first class cabin and asks to speak with the lead flight attendant. She tells him that one of her underlings is sitting in first class, and that she needs to switch with him since she's higher on the corporate ladder. The guy can't believe what he's hearing, but she won't take no for an answer. Finally he tells her she has to go back to her seat, or she will be escorted from the plane. She made a complete ass of herself in front of the whole first class cabin. This one just makes me sad. People who really internalize that a corporate ladder has any relation to people's worth are only hurting themselves in the end. Deleted. She sounds like she has serious mental issues. Not sure if it fits but during an insanely busy weekend before Christmas, a Karen was complaining to every associate about how messy our store was. The manager had relieved the girl at the fitting room and was helping to hang stuff. Karen pulled her crap and was trying to make a point that we were messy and a horrible place to shop. At the this manager told her roughly, Mom we're messy at the moment because we're a popular store. And the biggest reason we're messy is because of women like you who can't be bothered to pick up after themselves. It's not the associates making the mess. It's people like you. Your type have us outnumbered. First time I actually witnessed someone deflate. Love this one. I always rehang my clothes before leaving a dressing room. My parents were yelling at me and then my grandpa walks over and tells them both to sit the fuck down. They both shut the fuck up and sit their ass down on the couch. It was by far the most powerful thing I've ever seen him do mayo. Why were they yelling though? When I was younger and worked at a grocery store, my store did a week where corporate had to work with us every year. This one lady was screaming and complaining that we didn't have some brand of something and we had the corporate lady standing next to me saying we won't ever carry that brand. I worked at a prison for 10 years. A lot of the captains were notorious for giving in to newer employees demands for training usually reserved for senior officers, or at the very least, easier jobs away from inmates. One night I was talking with one of the captains in his office and a new officer came in, he'd been there about 3 months or so. He started asking the captain for some particular training. The captain kept telling him no because there were senior officers ahead of him. Naturally, this 20 something year old kid started whining about so and so getting trained and he wasn't and they felt like they have proven their worth. The captain got up and start walking circles around the officer as if he was looking for something. Checked his shirt collar, pockets, and even made him give him his wallet, and he looked through it. He finally sat down and looked at his own collar and touched his captain's pin and said, holy shit. You almost had me convinced that I wasn't the decision maker. Get the fuck out of my office. He was my favorite supervisor of all time, still is. A cop pulled me over at 2am on my way home from work. He was visibly agitated that I wasn't the drunk driver he was fishing for. I asked him why he pulled me over and he gave me some nonsense about swerving. I told him no I wasn't. He walked away, did a 180 and came back with well, 
If I searched your car right now, what might I find? I laughed at him and told him that there was no way I would ever consent to a search. He walked away fuming. A lawsuit. I'm a motorcycle instructor. Part of the basic training out on the road is to perform three U-turns and emergency stops. I usually pick a quiet road somewhere to do this and it takes 10 minutes tops and we're gone. One day I just parked up and got off when some old guy comes out of his house and tells me I can't park there, can't practice here and I have to move. No. He rants on for a minute saying I'm breaking the law and have to go. Again, no. You have no say in how this road is used. Owning a house here doesn't give you any authority. He stormed off shouting he was going to call the police. We finished our exercises and then left. I've made a point of going back there from time to time, but not seen him since. Deleted. I was shadowing a physician at a local clinic. She is a black woman who got into medical school at age 35 so she's older. One of the nurses who didn't work there for long came in and asked if she was a new nurse and that there was a patient in room 4. The physician I'm the doctor and handed the chart to the nurse and told her to see the patient in room 4. When my electricity got shut off and I couldn't submit a claim on their website because I had no power. Dude why are electric companies the worst? I went on the website of mine to deal with a late bill, and they said if the bill is past the due date, you have to call and deal with it over the phone. Their phone kicked a meter message that said due to COVID, we don't have enough operators and everything needs to be done online. I still haven't paid it, 